Hey guys, I'm inside the Turbine Moose right now. I was gonna just share with you very quickly uh, some of the features in this great panel that we put in this thing. Uh, first of all, it has its own electrical system. So this panel runs off a 12 volt battery system that's completely independent of the engine's 24 volt system. What does that mean? That means I can turn everything on, mess with it, put my flight plan in, get my clearances, do everything I need to do before engine start, I don't have to shut any of this off to start the engine because it's it, it's on a completely separate system, just like the big boys do. Anyway, it's also got an autopilot, three axis autopilot with the yaw dampener. The yaw dampener works fantastic in, in uh, bumpy weather, especially with the floats. Um, the engine monitor has uh, audible uh, engine warnings if something's going wrong. It's got a master warning that you can put all kinds of things in. Uh, at the top of the panel, we've got a Garmin audio panel with Bluetooth capabilities that works great. We've got the Garmin uh, GPS IFR 355 Navcom. That's been a great radio and really in today's world, our nav approaches is really all you need. Right below that, Electronics International makes this great turbine engine monitor. We put this in because the Dynan system wasn't capable of monitoring the turbine engine. Um, this system will track all your start cycles on your turbine engine, fuel flow, it's got, I mean it just does a ton of things. You can even put uh, your weight and balance in there, you can do uh, your fuel planning with that. It's a great tool. Right below that, we've got this beautiful throttle quadrant that's custom made right here in Corona by a guy that's got his own machine shop. And it's just a beautiful quadrant. These move so easy, so smooth and uh, they have a detent in them. Like on the throttle, when you come back, after you land, you come back to flight idle, you want to get into beta, you just pull up and pull back and down. On the condition lever, same thing for idle cutoff to shut the engine off, you just pull down to the stop, and then to cut it off, you pull up and down. Very, very nice, really nice system. That's a dual screen system. On the far right side of the panel, we've got our uh, landing gear switch for the Montana amphibious floats. And I just couldn't be more happy with the way the whole system works and the way the airplane flies. So, talk to you later.